These sets of images from Google Earth show how this island broke off from the mainland in Bukasa, near the Lozira prison's staff quarters. In December 2013, the area was intact, as seen from this image. But some parts could be seen breaking off in this image of July 2014. And this was November last year. Some parts of the island can be seen here with some clouds above. Amidst the clouds, this February 2015 image shows how the island has moved significantly from the mainland. A physicist at Makere University, Ben Onfred Twinamasiko, explains the phenomenon. The soil is heavy. By the looks of the plantations, it looked like it was a bit real soil. And it would be heavy and you wouldn't now see it uh, to move around. But because of the tides, at least you are able to have some gradual movement because of the tides. Because this was not a rock. This arrow shows the direction the island took to move near Gaba landing site on Sunday. It is about one kilometer long and 300 meters wide. It is because uh, some parts they were very weak, so the more it moves, it is, the more those weak parts go off. When you're here, it is very hard for you to know that you're floating on water. Except when someone moves near you, then you feel the ground shaking. It is also very hard for you in a short time to know that the island has changed direction. This is part of the island as seen near Luzira prisons. The area around the island experienced heavy rains in January and February this year. It is what some experts say could have caused the drift of the landmass. A similar case was seen in Lake Choga in 2000. Can have a change in the level of the water and the winds and the rest cause dislodgement of a huge chunk of papyrus and other vegetation floating systems to get off the, 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 the lake shore and start floating on the lake. But there are still unanswered questions on how the island reached near Gaba landing site more than a kilometer away and returned to its initial location two days later. Moses Akena, NTV.